So Five Nights at Freddy's has released tons of merch. However, their most famous collaborations have come from different YouTubers like MatPat, or even from Markiplier and Jacksepticeye's own brand, which is the topic of today's video called Cloak. Cloak, like I said, is Markiplier and Jacksepticeye's very own clothing brand. And a little while ago, they actually collabed with the official Five Nights at Freddy's to make their very own merchandise that was actually pretty successful. So naturally, just a couple weeks ago, they recently announced that there was going to be a brand new second collab that's already currently came out. However, unlike what you may think this simple brand collaboration was actually incredibly controversial for a few different reasons from theft all the way to what some people say are even illegal marketing tactics so let's just say this collaboration was a bit of a mess up first let's start with the stealing allegations so five nights at freddy's has always had a huge problem with renders more specifically fan renders because oftentimes when any sort of licensed five nights at freddy's merch is released the designers lack a lot of research and end up just using whatever renders and images they can find on google assuming that they're official. But the problem is, a lot of renders, even ones of the official characters, are actually fan-made, meaning they aren't supposed to be used. But regardless of this, even in cases like with Funko Pop figures, sometimes they slip through the cracks and they actually use these fan renders inside of their very own products. Which of course is not allowed, and it's something that is super frowned upon in any community. Anyway, tying this with this new Cloak FNAF collaboration, they recently released a trailer to tease the upcoming merch, showcasing a bunch of different renders that, you guessed it, turned out to all be random stolen fan renders that were not at all official. I honestly don't know why they would do this because right out of the gate they would be faced with tons of backlash for obvious reasons. However, not for very long because they would actually end up taking the trailer down, deleting the tweet. They would go on to apologize on Twitter for this, so I assume it was some sort of mistake on their part that they didn't mean to do, and I hope whoever edited that video learned from that, but it was an interesting move that you could even say affected the reputation of Cloak in this Five Nights at Freddy's collaboration. But now with that being said, let's actually talk about the merch collection that's releasing under this collaboration. The designs were somewhat criticized for being a little bit lazy. Most of the merch was pretty much just FNAF written somewhere and Cloak's name somewhere else with maybe a graphic to go alongside that, which was a little bit disappointing to a lot of people. I even saw a few people memeing this on Twitter, which was pretty funny, but what sets this merch drop apart from your average graphic shirt on Redbubble is that some of this stuff is incredibly expensive, even topping out breaking the $174 dollar mark for a single jacket. But to be fair to them, I won't knock them much for this because Cloak actually has a good reputation for having good quality clothing, so I imagine it's probably worth the price despite it being somewhat expensive. Anyway though, the thing I really wanted to talk about the most, and by far the most controversial thing that I saw being talked about of all, is this random promotion that Cloak called a giveaway that by some extents is being alleged as possibly being entirely illegal according to different sources. So first, what the hell am I talking about? Well, to build hype for this new Cloak Five Nights at Freddy's collaboration, the Cloak Twitter account would announce a giveaway saying, Behold, there are only five of these amazing Freddy statues in existence, made by your favorite the regular sauce, and we're giving each of these away to you. You'll be entered to win with any purchase from the Bite Cloak X FNAF, dropping this Friday at 9am PT. Good luck. So at first, nothing really seems to be off about this giveaway, it just looks pretty standard. However, right out of the gate, people started to notice some major problems. Because if you didn't know, in the United States, it is actually illegal for you to charge money for an entry and do a giveaway. Because at that point, it's not considered a giveaway, but rather gambling. Or paying for a chance to get something in return, which you can't do. So when looking at this cloak giveaway, people were somewhat quick to point out that, hey, isn't this exactly what this giveaway is doing? Well, it seems like it might actually be the case. By the way, in case you were wondering how other people are able to do these giveaways, like Mr. Beast Feastable Bars, for example, where you have to buy his chocolate to get a chance to win different prizes as advertised, What's important about those and pretty much every other giveaway where it seems like you have to buy something in advance, it is clearly labeled in the fine print that there is actually no purchase necessary to enter these giveaways. And if you look on these websites, it's actually possible to enter all of these giveaways without actually having to buy the product they advertise for legal reasons, which is sort of a workaround to do paid giveaways without doing paid giveaways. But when looking at this Cloak Five Nights at Freddy's giveaway, there wasn't any way to enter without actually having to purchase the merchandise. So once again, the company was under fire for doing things that this time could even be considered gambling depending on the way you're looking at it. And we even saw big FNAF figures calling this out like Johnny Box and Kane Carter. So naturally, among this backlash, this tweet, just like the trailer we talked about before, got deleted off Twitter, showing that they 100% saw all the backlash coming in. But for whatever 
reason, after deleting this tweet, they posted it on Instagram instead about the giveaway, saying pretty much the exact same thing throughout the post. So do you see the problem with what they're doing here, guys? They have taken a product giveaway and seemingly locked it behind a paywall to give people a small chance to get the product if they pay them a certain number of money and buy something from their collection, which to a lot of people seems to come off as gambling. I tried to look for some terms for this giveaway because usually there's tons of fine print in these giveaways saying how the odds will work and all the different ways you can enter along with different age requirements, but it seems like there's nothing there. So essentially, this entire drop seems to be a complete mess. People haven't been too happy with the designs of the merch or even the pricing, granted those are totally subjective. The trailers that they released took from other different fan renders, and even the giveaways that they're running seem to be pretty sketch, making it seem like they've either made a lot of mistakes when it came to marketing this merch drop or that they just didn't care. I'm not sure which one it is, but I sure hope it's a one-time thing, because seeing YouTubers and the official Five Nights at Freddy's collaborate is amazing because it says so much to how far YouTubers have come in recent years, but it would suck to see this becoming a recurring theme in the future. Anyway, let me know if you like this collaboration in the comments despite the controversy. Subscribe and peace.